Hi, it's Aaron Weinstein here with Peghead Nation, and uh, we're going to address perhaps the single most important thing uh, when it comes to playing, certainly chord melody on the mandolin, but I would say music um, of any kind. It's a question that I'm asked perhaps more than any other, um, and it, it regards, well, we're going to learn how to tie a bow tie. Um, and uh, let me just say, it's nothing like tying your shoe, so get that out of your mind. Okay, so it's very easy though, and, and I'll, I'll show you how. Um, so I'm gonna undo this one. And and this is, so here, we have our bow tie here. Um, now, they often are adjustable, and you want to uh, help yourself out by putting it into the, uh, whatever your shirt collar is. That's a, a good uh, place to put it. So if you wear a 15 shirt, put it on the 15. So now, so we have two sides here. Um, and the first question is, do you do this? Do you do that? Where do you do the two sides? Uh, what I like to do is, there's a little kind of uh, bump out here, and then there's an indentation here. And I like to put um, the right side, the bump of the right side, kind of level with the indentation of the other side. Um, so that's the first step. Now, we take the, uh, the longer side here, and we're going to put it over the shorter side and through. And I'll do that one more time slowly. So you take your two sides, the longer side and your shorter side, and we cross the longer side over the shorter side. And we take this longer side, we put it through the back and up the top. Okay. Now, this is the point where um, you adjust the tie so it fits around your neck in a comfortable way. You're not going to really have another opportunity to do this. So this is the time to to either make it tighter or looser. And then once you get that to where you, you uh, like it, now we have one end that's over the other end, one in front, one in back. We're gonna start by dealing with the back end. Um, you can just leave this here, you can put it there if that's easier to deal with. And what we're gonna do, I'll do it once quickly and then slowly, we're gonna make this look like a bow tie. We're gonna make it look like that, like a bow tie. I'll show you how you do that. You take the top part of this and you just fold it over. You see, just like that. And then once you have that, just kind of put it in place like it's a bow, like it's a bow tie. Um, now, th and, and this is the only time you're gonna have a chance to adjust this. So, so spend some time with it. Um, you don't need to practice scales. This is what you need to practice doing. Um, okay, so now we have our bow. Just hold this in place. Now bring back this other side. And it's just gonna hang over. We have one as a bow, and, then, and we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna flip it up this time, and we're gonna do it like that. I'll do that once more. So you take the top part and you just flip it up, top part, flip it up. And we do the same thing here. So we're going to make this look like a bow. So now we have this and we have this and there's a little loop in the back, right, right there. And we're going to take this top part. And, th and this is the part that on all the diagrams when you buy a bow tie, this is never clear. It's like it's clear, it's clear, it's clear, and then it's just jumbled. And, and that's how no one ties a bow tie. Um, we just put this top part through the back loop. Okay. And then pull it. And I don't have a mirror right now, so I, I'm just kind of feeling my way. Um, but... At this point, it should basically look like a bow tie. Um, and you can adjust it a little bit, pulling each side until it gets the way you want. And um, once it seems to be kind of in place, you can put your shirt collar down. And then you can adjust your pocket square ever so slightly. And, um, and then you can go into the world and um, be as pretentious as you want to be because you're wearing a bow tie now. Um, and that's how you tie a bow tie.
So now that we've uh, learned the steps to tying a bow tie, I will do it for you once in real time so you can kind of see it all together. Um, so like this. And, and that should be, uh, be pretty well centered. Now, you know, it, once you get uh, comfortable doing that, you know, there's always a next step. And, and it, it, the next step would be maybe to add some, uh, some music practice as you're doing a bow tie. So if you want to, for instance, um, you know, r recite keys through the cycle of fourths as you're uh, tying a bow tie, you can get that done and tie the bow tie and become comfortable with, with two things at once. So um, you can you can say this with me if you'd like uh, C F B flat E flat A flat D flat G flat B E A D G um, and it's okay to loop back to see if if it takes uh, longer than just one one cycle through. And so people often ask, you know, what's the secret to uh, jazz or improvisation? And I used to think there is no secret. It's just hard work. However, uh, upon further examination, I realized that there is a secret and I've just shared it with you. So um, happy playing and you're welcome. Mm -hmm.